Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on vectors. Question number two with me, Mr. Barton. All right, what have we got here? OAB is a triangle. O to A equals A. O to B equals B. Find A to B in terms of A and B. All right, I'm going to do my same technique. I've got to write down the route I'm going. To get from A to B, I've got to travel along routes I know. I can't go up here. I'm going to clue what's going on up there. So I'm going to bang into O there and then straight out to B there. So I'm going to write it down. To get from A to B, I'm going to start at A and go to O. And when I've got there, I'm going to go from O to B. Now, to get from A to O, I travel the opposite way to that vector so that's a that way so that's going to be minus a that way and then when i get there i'm going to go from o to b and that's traveling in the right direction that that vector's pointing so it's going to be minus a plus b or b minus a if you prefer and then comes the twist they lure you in with a nice one then mesh you over with this so point p is the point on a b such that a to p and p to b is in the ratio three to one so a to p and p to b is 3 to 1 so that is three times longer than that bit that's going to be important find o to p in terms of a and b and give your answer in the simplest form now again we've got to figure out what route we're going to go and often in these vectors questions part a will give you a nice help along the way here we've already got a to b and we know what this uh, line's divided up into. So we can get from A to P reasonably easily in the same direction. So I want to travel up this bit. So if I need to get from O to P, I'm actually going to go this way. I'm going to come down to A, and then I'm going to go up from A to P because I know this vector, and I've already worked out that full vector in part A. So I'm going to write that down. To get from O to P, I'm going to first go O to A, and then when I get to A, I'm going to go A to P. All right, what do I know? Well, O to A is just vector A. Nice, easy start. A to P. How much of A to B is A to P? Well, if that's three parts and that's one part, the full thing there is four parts, and we want to go three parts of the way along. So we want to go three quarters of vector a to b that's all we want to do three quarters of the way along that line all right let's have a look at that so we get a plus three quarters of the vector a to b now a to b is minus a plus b now this is where you've got to switch on you've got to be pretty good at your fractions here and multiplying out so let's have a look because i want it in its simplest form now i've got most of my marks already but let's finish this finish the job off so I get 3 quarters of minus a, 3 quarters of a whole minus a. Well, that's just going to be minus 3 quarters of a. That's all that is. 3 quarters of minus a is minus 3 quarters of a. 3 quarters of positive b, that's just 3 quarters of b. That's not too bad. And then this is where some students mess up a little bit. So let's just switch on here. One whole a, take off 3 quarters of an a. You've got a whole a and you're losing three quarters of an A. What are you left with? We're well, just left with one quarter of an A. And then you've got plus three quarters of B. Well, we've no other Bs to worry about. So let's just leave our answer like that. Some people will factorize and mess around there, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I've got my A's together, got my B's together. I'll take my marks from there, please. 